Today I want to cover some of the more common errors and mistakes made when using iNaturalist. I'm going to go ahead and make a new observation. And in this one I'll make the mistake of including multiple species. There's a one species. And then I go and take an image of another species. And then take an image of a third species. This is an error. This is a mistake. If I go to what did you see, the computer vision is only going to look at the first one. And actually this is Davalia. But the reality is I have three different species here. I shouldn't. But I will do what some people do when they're making an error. And I will go ahead and upload that saying it's a Davalia. It's not. I'll have to go back and fix this in a moment. But I'll show you how we can fix that some of the ways we can tackle that. And so at that point, I've got a, I do make sure I've got my location and a time. But I, this is a deformed, a malformed observation. It's a mistake. It's an error. It won't work because it has three different species. So that's one type of error to be aware of. There's another type of error. I'm going to show you that one here now. Suppose I do go ahead and I... grab a picture of this uh, possible uh, Nephrolepis fern here. And then I add a photo for another Nephrolepis fern. Now, both of those are Nephrolepis, so they're the same species, but I've just walked to a different plant. I've just walked about 20 feet to a different Nephrolepis plant. Same ferna, as far as I'm aware. Bear in mind that without the sora, I, I can't even be sure they're the same species, but potentially maybe they are. And this is actually potentially a, a fairly fatal error, but this is this isn't an obvious error, and others won't realize it's an error. Now, I know it's a Nephrolepis, and I'm not sure which Nephrolepis it is. So the Asplenium is wrong. The Polystichum is wrong. The Nephrolepis exaltata, I don't think so. I think that's actually coming from further up. But uh, I'll go ahead and dump this into Nephrolepis. I've got to go back and fix it in a little bit. Nephrolepis. There we go. It's summoned the sword ferns. But this is a malformed observation. It is a malformed observation. So, it looks good to someone who doesn't realize that I've looked at two different plants. Each plant gets its own observation, even if it's the same species. Of course, you could go overboard and take a hundred pictures of a Nephrolepis ferns in your front yard, and that would be kind of, uh, well, kind of useless. <laughs> But you do want to make sure that. And here's a case where you have, do have to be careful. Because ferns that may look alike may not be alike. For example, this here, uh, growing... This is possibly a young kiddo, but without the... Uh, without the... Uh, sorry, we can't tell. There's another fern, though that I'm less certain might be Kiddo. It's called Kiddo on the island. But that one there is probably, possibly Phymatosaurus scolopendria. But this guy down here, and again, I don't have Sorai to look at. This is possibly, it might be something like Phymatosaurus grossus. I just don't know what it is. Uh, 
and again, without the Sora, I, I don't have anything. But again, I've just walked 20 feet away. So this, too, is a malformed observation. And although they may look alike, uh, my gut sense is that these aren't even the same species. They just look alike. But they're not the same species. So that's another kind of malformed observation. Uh, it's the same as the previous one. It's two different plants. Never take pictures of two different plants and lump them into the same observation. One plant, one observation. One plant in one physical place. You can go take a picture of the same plant in a different place, but that's then a new observation. So this is, uh, let me see what this does with this guy. Again, it's only keying off the first one. It thinks it's in Microsorum. It may be. It's either in Microsorum or in Phymatosaurus. See, Phymatosaurus crossus is down the list. But again, notice the sori on that picture. You would need the sori to be certain. For now, I'll just dump it into Phymatosaurus. They are both Phymatosaurus. I just they suspect they're different. So you've, so you've messed up. You've got some malformed observations that you need to fix. How do you fix these things? How do you put them back right? Well, get yourself over to your own observations. They'll take some time to upload. But we'll uh, let those guys upload, and then we'll look at how we can fix those observations. So I've got the Davalia malformed observation uploaded. All I've done is clicked on it. Let me do that again. Go back, click on the Davalia. And you'll see I've got different species of ferns here. That's not right. So how do I fix this? Well, I go to the upper right to the pencil, and I'm going to go uh, here to do the edit. Uh, sorry, up to click on that. Uh, oh, let's get rid of the object. I've long clicked on that photo, this one and the next one. Uh, that one's. I'm going to keep that one because I, I, that was where I. That's what the computer vision identified. So I'm going to delete this photo. Get rid of that. I'm going to tap that one, just tap it, turns out it works just fine. Again, that's, that's the one I'm keeping. That's the one I'm getting rid of. Toss that. Now I'm down to just a Davalia, and now I can actually uh, be more specific. I'll go ahead and uh, check this one. It, I, I, this is Davalia Salida, so I'll go ahead and run that in. I happen to know that, but I can now fix that. Oops. I think I can just I can just do partial. Get away with a partial match. Let's see. Maybe not. Nah, I have to go through. Yeah, there we go. It's doing partial. That's good. That's the one I want. That's our. That's our Ulung in Kiel right there. In fact, I should put that down here. Because it has a local name. Ulung in Kiel. The Pillow of the Lizard. This is pillow. Okay, and it's got a date, time, okay, I'm good. So that one's now fixed. So that's how I can fix it. Now, I've just lost a couple of observations potentially, but no, not really. Let me go back, and it will now synchronize that. I can go to the plus sign and choose an image. It will pop up my recent images, and the images that I captured with iNaturalist are still there. So if I need to put that guy back, say, okay, I want this guy back, by itself, because it's its own little fern. Now I can go in here and tell it, well, I've got a Nephrolepis fern here. Uh, we don't have the Sori, so there's really no way to be certain which Nephrolepis it is. In fact, quite frankly, we can't be even certain it's a Nephrolepis without the Sori. But it does appear to be raw dill. And those of you from the northern part of the island, you're spelling it wrong. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> right. Anyway. Uh, there you go, Rawdale. Uh, um, it is actually used in Koshai and Utway. They used to put it in when, the, uh, when they carried buckets of water. They put the Rawdale on top of the, the water to uh, keep it from splashing out of the bucket when they carried the water uh, down to the village. Uh, but in any case, uh, Rawdale here on Pompey has a. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't have coordinates. Ah, notice that it Good thing it reminded me. Do not save without coordinates. I didn't catch that I'd lost the location. It's near where I am right now, but not exactly, so I'll have to go fix it. 
Yeah, there's me. Yeah, no, no, no. I know this map really well. It's right there. I know it doesn't look like I what you can tell what I'm doing here, but those are the houses in our neighborhood in the main road. And that's where that fern actually is. And then I press check. And now I've got a location. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Gotta get a location. Uh, these are wild, but if it was captive, I should go back and fix that. Uh, but it isn't. Uh, so it's just growing on a tree. So at least I haven't made that error. But if you do make that mistake, if it is captive or cultivated, do of course check the checkbox down there. So I hit the green check at the bottom. And that guy's a good clean observation now. Better go back and fix some of these other ones that are broken. This one here, you might recall the problem I had with this guy was that uh, it actually is, uh, try that again, see if we can open that guy up. This guy's problem is that there's two, these plants are not the same plant. I know the same species, but this is over on the uh, uh, Mirinda citrifolia tree, known on Pompe as a waypole, no one else wears noni. Uh, this is on a coconut tree, uh, it's on the base of an old coconut tree. Uh, Cocos nucifera. They're two different plants, physically. They're probably the same species. They're about 20 feet apart. But they shouldn't be together in the same observation. So, once again, I click on the pencil at the upper right, tap on the photo, and now I can switch between the two, decide which one I'm keeping, which one I'm not keeping. I'm going to toss the second one, because this location came from the first one. If I want, I can check that. That's the location of the first one. Where was the other one? It was over here. No, over, sorry, over here somewhere. About 20 feet away. <laughs> right over there. So, no need to press check. I want to discard my changes because that is the correct location of the first picture. But watch out for that. Now I can go clear that out. It is a nephrolep. Well, maybe it's a nephrolepis. We don't know. But that one's cleaned up. And then I can do the same thing with this Phimatosaurus. It's two different Phimatosauruses, possibly. Um, uh, no telling, but they may be two different ferns. So again, I can go to the one I want to get rid of. Usually, I would like to get rid of the second and third because the computer vision was done off of the first one. Computer vision only looks at the first one. So it's these I want to get rid of. Yes, I can now go back and put them back as their own observation. But now I've more likely that this is Phimatosaurus scolopendria. Again, it would really help to have some sauri on this. It's wild, so I don't have to check captive or cultivated. Whoops, sorry. Uh, no, I need to do the green check because I got rid of those pictures. So now you'll see I just have the one picture. I don't have the little dots down at the bottom of the picture that would tell me that I've actually got multiple pictures of that plant there. Uh, so this is, by the way, uh, Wallisia cyanea. This one you'll see is a uh, has been done. I'll go to the edit. It's captive or cultivated because that's a planted plant. You can see that right down there. The green checkbox on the right side, about two thirds of the way down the screen. That's the uh, that's been checked because this is uh, a captive cultivated plant. So I can take a quick look. That's a single picture of a Nephrolepis. That's a picture of a Phimatosaurus. Now I can have more than one picture of a plant. And I'll often do that, uh, a plant or, uh, or other things. If I have, you'll take a look at this uh, uh, Sferro Stephanos, a Marek, you'll see I've actually got about seven pictures here. But they're all pictures of the exact same plant. And I've got the top of the frond, the bottom of a fertile frond with the sori, critical to identifying the plant. Someone can take a look at that. They can enlarge that to take a good close look at the sori and try to help figure out what type of fern this might really be. Uh, these are all the same plant, one plant that I took and took different pictures of different parts of the same plant. So you can certainly have multiple pictures as you see here. You can have multiple pictures, but it has to be the same plant. One plant, not other plants. Um, one single plant. All of these are all the same plant. That's the plant that I was just now showing you in the larger picture. So you can have more than one picture, 
but you can't have more than one plant in an observation. I hope that helps show you how to edit an observation, how to clean up an observation, how to make sure you've only got that one species in the plant. And another key to using the app is that first picture should be your best picture of a plant. That first picture should be the one that you believe is going to identify it for the computer vision. If you're trying to identify a flower like this, you want to use the flower picture because the computer vision is probably better at recognizing a flower than the picture of a bottom of a leaf, quite frankly. So you give the computer vision your best shot to work with and it's more likely to get you a reasonable identification. And the other thing to do when you are running these identifications on a plant is you don't, if you don't know what your plant is, um, and you're trying to figure it out, you let the, you should not take it down to species necessarily unless you're certain. Like here you can see genus Wallisia. That's a safe place to put this plant if you don't know this particular family of plants. That's a good safe place. In this case, this is uh, pretty clearly Wallisia cyanea. But it's always kind of a good idea to run at the higher level up at genus, say. That's a good place to go uh, if you're not certain. It's safer unless you really are sure of where you're going to. Uh, the, yeah, I'm discarded. It's all right. So do, do run with genus level identifications. Do not leave an identification going up with nothing. Don't just take it up with absolutely nothing. Don't Go in here and say, okay, I can pick up one of my pictures of one of my plants here. Take that guy. I haven't used it. And then just simply press, you know, give it a location. It's near me. It's actually over here. Uh, it's right here, actually. So I've given it a location and a time. But I didn't put anything in for what did I see. When I press check, that's going to go up as an unknown. Unknowns are, are uh, what's a nice way to say this? Well, they can tend to be a problem within the system. It loads as an unknown species. And that's just a big pile of all sorts of things that people uploaded without making a reasonable attempt at identifying it. So... Don't ever upload it as a species. You know it's something. So I'm going to go to check. What do I do? Suppose I have no idea. It's green. When in doubt, simply type in... Uh, unless you're looking at uh, Puss and Ketchupin, go for Plantae. Plantae will get plants. Even if you're offline, you can, you'll see this gray one probably like this. You could simply say, yeah, it'll go in as a placeholder. But when it uploads, it should uh, link it into... To plants at the very least get it into plants and ideally ideally try to get it a little bit farther along like if you know it's a fern you can do that you can sit there and say okay I think it's a fern you can type in fern there's ferns that's simply I don't know what kind of fern it is but it's a fern press check boom it goes in as a fern um, so you try to get the plant as close to an identification as you can. Don't just upload it with that first line blank. But if you really have no idea, it's just green. Put plantae. And then you'll only be wrong for puss and ketchup in. Puss and ketchup in is a Pompeian for Nastoc commune, which is a cyanobacteria. It's not a plant. But that, that don't upload things with um, no identification at all. And this can't really be identified, so I'll probably go ahead and... <laughs> I, think I'll, I think I'll delete this. Uh, where did I go? Oh, down here, trash. Click the trash. Do you want to delete this? Yeah, yeah, and that's not worth even trying to identify, so I've deleted it. And you can delete an observation if, if it's a particularly uh, valueless observation or hopeless. Just delete it. You can always start over. Um, uh, so, those are some of the mistakes made that I see being made. Things often going up as unknown, multiple plants in one observation, different plants, same species, one observation. Watch out for all of these things and do thank you for watching.